Hello everyone, this is Felix Rodriguez from psvideotut.com and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make it seem like you're drawing yourself on Photoshop. First, you're going to need a picture of a piece of paper and a picture of someone with a paintbrush looking like they paint themselves. So, what we're going to do is, with a pen tool, we are going to cut out the person from the background of the original photo. I'm just going to show you uh, an example of this and how to do it and then I'm just going to skip this step to save video time. So with the pen tool you just click and go around the area that you want to select. So in this case we want to select um, the background. So you just keep outlining the body or the model of the photo and you keep doing that until you have the model completely out the background where it's just him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I mean. So, as you see, I'm taking a pen tool, going all the way to his arm, and I'm just going to show you how it's done. So, with the pen tool, you connect it to the first pen point. And you're gonna go and make a selection and delete that background out the image. So you do it to the whole body. I'm just gonna do it to the arm right now so I can save videos time. I'm gonna go zoom in and I'm gonna go connect. Then you right click, make selection, press OK, and you delete it. There you go. As you can see, we take out the background and left the person so I already did this in advance just to save video time and that's how it should look like it's just the person not the background so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this two times and we're gonna make one of them invisible just in case we need to go back to it for reference now we're gonna take one of the layers and add a poster edge to it. So you click filter, artistic, and go to poster edges. Now, in the bottom left corner, you gotta put fit to view. I have to move this window because my recording tool is blocking it. So you go and you click fit to view. You can change the settings to make them look more cartoonish or not. Um, I like this setting a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and, and play with it to see if I can get um, an effect that I want. So I'm trying to make it look like he's painted and I think that does the job. And with the other layer, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and you lower down the saturation. That lowers, that eliminates the color. So it makes the picture black and white. And then after that, you go to Filter, you go to Style, and you go to Find Edges. And now it looks like somebody drew him with a pencil. What we do now is... We're going to put this layer above that one and we're going to grab the eraser tool and make sure the hardness of the eraser is low so it has soft edges and we're just going to go ahead and erase part of the colored image so it looks like half of him is colored and the other half is not or half of him is painted in this case. So you just want to go around make half of them painted and the other half leave it I guess like Pencil you want to have a nice balance. You also want to do this with a with a t-shirt with a design on it because if it's a solid color, it won't look that good. The effect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select both layers and we're gonna merge it. That's the right click and go to merge layer. Next, we're gonna change the blend mode to multiply so you go ahead and click where it says normal 
and you hit multiply that way he looks more part of the paper like the lines go through the image and it looks more realistic but uh yeah you also want to like change the opacity to like around the 90s so it looks a little faded but it also looks like it's actually drawn onto it and that's pretty much it we're done thank you for watching be sure to visit psvideotut.com this is Felix Rodriguez it's been a pleasure and I'll be putting up more videos soon. Bye.